All right, so we've got these holes for the legs to drill. I've got a piece of plywood underneath so that I don't burst out of the back on the nice surface I just sanded and ruin that. Although it doesn't really matter too much. I'm gonna have to countersink those holes because these are the bolts I'm gonna use. And they have this little square piece in the bottom for, I guess, anti-twisting. I mean, they're not gonna twist anywhere. They're gonna be sitting in the wood um, with some bolts on the side of the legs, but um, I'm also going to polish up the heads of these guys and blue them like I've done with a couple of projects in the past because I like the dark blue metal on the dark brown wood a lot more than the shiny silver so it won't stand out too much but it should create a nice accent. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to drill these holes and then I'll countersink them and we'll do a test fit. I also have to drill out the larger holes in the legs so I'll do that as well with whatever drill bit I use to drill the final holes. I'm going to pilot hole these first with a little bit and then we'll go from there. So here we go. See how the other side of that looks. Hasn't done the thing I didn't want it to do, so that's lovely. This one for the body of the bolt, and this one for that little duty dad there. There you go. Bunch more. This is awful. This is not how you're supposed to do these. Had a drill press, maybe, but since I don't I make do with what I got, two of eight. Will I mess up before? Maybe Christ can't even see this. Let me bring y'all closer. So you can watch me fail up close and personal. My last hole. Last thing to do is to countersink these holes so that the bolts will sit nice and flush with the surface as right now it's got those little squares in them so we're going to countersink those so that it just sits nice and flat on top. In fact, we can use my tape measure. Not the tape measure, the tape measurement trick that I did with the last one. So just to be double, double sure that all these holes are the same depth. We only need a little bit. That bolt head is not 
too deep. Maybe like there is good. That's our gauge. Let's do it. All right, so I've got the sides. I put five coats of stain on them now. They're looking pretty dark, so they're they're turning out pretty well, pretty close to the wood. But I was noticing that this wood, the natural walnut, is looking a little duller. So I like to finish it off with uh, some boiled linseed oil. The difference between boiled linseed oil and regular linseed oil is uh, unboiled tends to um, spoil over time, so you get like gross stuff, and boiled linseed oil doesn't do that. So. I'm just going to rub this down with one coat, probably. I don't think I need too much. I just want to bring out the nice colors in this wood a little bit more vibrantly. It makes it nice and shiny. And then I will wait for those to dry, screw them in, and I'll do a polyurethane coat on everything once it's assembled. So let's get to it. I'll leave these for a little while. Check on my stain pieces. I'll probably actually end up doing one coat of polyurethane on the bottom side so that at the very least uh, any surface between the two woods once I screw in glue. Oh no, I have to glue it down. What am I talking about? Cut this. Cut, cut all this. Cut, cut all of it. Cut all of it. So we have just a couple more things to do on the boards here. I have everything finished being stained and I have the boards oiled. I'm going to lay some glue on the underside of these guys and clamp them down so they are fashioned nice and securely against I almost dropped it. Whoops. Against the bottom of these boards to give them a little support. There is a little bit of a bow in this piece right here, but I think we can fix that just by screwing and gluing, clamping and all that. And uh, I've got my screws here. I've got my clamps and I got my glue. Um, once I'm done with all that, I will polyurethane and wax, and that's pretty much it for these. The only other things I gotta do is I have these um, bolts that I am going to secure the legs to the tabletops with. I'm gonna polish the tops of these and blue them with my Birchwood bluing solution so I can get a nice dark finish on them because I like that. I think it goes really nicely with the uh, walnuts. So that's pretty much it. Um, we'll get right to it. I only did one coat of the stain on the bottoms of these. Shouldn't have too much of an issue with the sticking.
Same deal for the little guys. Just less glue. That's one full board glued up. I'll wait for this to dry, obviously, and take the clamps off and I'll do the other one. But, uh, should work out pretty well. There's a lot of glue sleeping out, but you'll wait for that to dry just a little bit and then you can go in with a chisel and just scrape it all out nice and clean, so I'll do that. I don't know if I'll get some on video. It depends on if I get the timing right, but we'll try for you guys. Like I said, I've got these little bolts here. I'm just gonna polish off the top of the heads. They got this little this writing on it. I just wanna get rid of that and I'll get a nice uh, clean metal surface so I can do some bluing on there. I'll try some bluing on the threads too, but you won't see too much of the threads, so I don't think it'll matter. But I do want the tops to look really nice in dark blue when I get the bluing solution on there. So here we go. A little hanger binder, 36 grit. Probably too heavy a grit, but I'll be delicate. So you can just kind of brush that off. I just want it nice clean. are the little letters are gone I might put this in my drill and just spin them and sand them a little bit so that they had a nice even surface because you can kind of tell the difference between the scratch marks and I want it to come out and be much more noticeable once I put the bluing solution on so we'll do that Nice. Back with our bluing solution. Let's give this a shot. I don't know if it'll work. I mean, these bolts seem pretty shiny. I thought maybe they had like a coat of nickel coating on it or something, but I think they're just shiny to begin with. So if it doesn't work too well, ah, whatever. At least they'll be shiny. Can't complain about that, but let's give this a shot. Oh, immediate results. Look at that. Beautiful. Hmm. Oh yeah. That's what we want. Watch that in real time, ready? Swoop. Look at that. Very nice. I'll let those sit for a minute and then I'll do a second coat. So I got the timing perfectly. I think this glue is exactly where I want it to be. So basically I'm gonna take this, it's not too sharp, just this old chisel, and I'm just gonna slide up underneath it from both angles. And I should just be able to peel this glue right out without too much effort and mess. Better to do this than wait for it to dry because it'll just come right off. Look at that, look at that. Just a little glops, not wet, just kind of gummy. Ugh. You don't have to do any sanding, any scraping, anything like that. Just gotta be careful. I really don't wanna ruin any of the stain or anything that I put on this guy. But this is where you want it to be. That will cure right up underneath. No mess on the outside. Yeah, look at that. You can just rip it right out of there. 
gently rip. Rip is not really the word I would use. Peel is probably a better word. Scrape is also a pretty good word for this process. But look at that. Little ribbons. Uh, no stress, no mess. No mess, no clean. No mess, no clean. So I didn't get a video or any photo evidence of what it looked like before I put the supports on there, but you can see how straight this guy is. Man, it just makes me so happy. That's exactly what I wanted, and it turned out just perfectly. Yeah, look at that, look at that line. Mm. All right, last thing I gotta do for these bolts, just wanna give them a quick little coat <clears throat> with the anti-rust stuff so that it just, they won't rust. So I'm gonna do that real quick. 36 of these things. Done. All right, folks, we're about to start this polyurethane. I'm going to try to do at least three coats kitty cat. Um, let's try to get this done quick. I want to do as many coats as I can today before the sun goes down and it takes a little while for it to dry. I think I'll do the waxing today if possible as well. So here we go. All right, so we're at the last step, uh, well, last couple of steps. I'm gonna wax the crap out of this, and then uh, I gotta test fit the legs, and then it's pretty much ready to go. So let's wax the top and the sides. I don't know that I really need to wax the underside, but I probably will just because I like everything to be smooth. So let's get right to it. Let's do a wool. Don't need this. Right, a little bit of wax in there, should be enough. It's gonna ruin my band-aid, but that's okay. Who needs bandages, am I right? Not me. Bam, tabletop's finished, very nice. All right, so I got my tables are all waxed up. I did wax the underside, I just didn't record it because a lot of the same kind of thing. I'm gonna pull out the legs, do a test fit, and uh, these guys look like it's fully assembled.
So, some of the holes that I drilled in the wood are not perfectly lined up with the metal. Um, that could have happened because I drilled the metal holes bigger afterwards or just because I wasn't as precise. Doesn't really matter. What I think I'll do instead of, let's see if this one fits actually. Right. Ooh, just barely not. So I think what I'll do, instead of re-drilling the holes in the wood because I don't want it to be loose in the wood, I might just get my files and file out the holes wider in the metal. Um, and then I'll just write numbers or letters on the legs and underneath the wood so that I know if ever this has to be disassembled and reassembled, we know which legs go to which holes so that we don't mess it up and have any issues in the future. So let's get right to that. Scratch that. I don't, oops, I actually don't have any files that are round and small enough to fit. So I'm just gonna re-drill these holes and hope that my drill bit can drill through that tiny bit of metal without messing up the wood too bad. So we'll give that a shot. Okay, so I re-drilled those holes. Everything fits nicely. Got them all secured, you can see. Looking pretty straight, both of them. They look nice. I'm happy with them. I'm not super happy with the color of the stain underneath. Hey, Teddy. But uh, I did like five coats and it just wasn't getting any darker. So that was my only critique for these. But aside from that, yeah, I'm excited for these. I think the last thing I gotta do, so I'm gonna get some super glue and I'm just gonna super glue these little rubber feet onto them just so that they don't fall off in transit and I lose one of them because that would make be very sad so we'll do that and that's pretty much it so what i think i'll do uh, because they have a clear coating on them i'll scrape off a little bit of the coating with my knife and then i'll use the epoxy so i don't have any like strong super glue that i think would work and i'll just epoxy these to the bottom so that they never come off I don't know if I forgot to mention, the reason I'm scraping off a little bit of the uh, clear coating that's on these legs is because if I were to epoxy this and it was only stuck to the clear coat and it cracked off or wore off somehow, they would fall off anyway. So if I can get down to bare metal at the very least, they will be stuck to the metal and not just the epoxy or the clear coat. Don't need too much epoxy in there, just enough to cover the surface that I scraped off and most of the leg. All right, guys, there we are. Finished windowsill tables. I'm pretty happy with them. I think they look great. They're smooth, they're clean. The legs look great. The feet are sitting on there nicely with that little bit of epoxy. My bolts all lined up. I love the look of a walnut. There we are, another project done. Thank you guys for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, like it, comment, share it with a friend. Uh, you know, I love to do this kind of stuff, so. It's great to have some support, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a good one.